In this video, we are going to take a look at a Javelin flow using the Files in Folder extension. So the prerequisites for creating this flow yourself would be having a basic understanding of .NET Framework methods, more specifically VB.NET and C Sharp, and also having a basic understanding of programming concepts. And so the dot task is to look in a file directory, pull out the names of all the files in that directory, and then append these file names to a text file. And so now we move to Javelin. And we look along the toolbox palette here, and we see the extension drop down, and we click the get files in folder action. And then we join this to the start block. And you'll notice that Javelin is asking us to specify a path. So this is the directory where Javelin will look in order to find the files. Identically, we could specify this path in the properties pane in the input folder field here. And so every action, uh, such as this, files and folder, has a properties pane where the user must specify values that will be either inputted or outputted from that action. And so we uh, have two options in specifying this path. We can either specify in double quotes some path here, you know, C, etc., etc., or we can define some variable here by clicking the variables pane, uh, and we could call this file path, and it has a type string which is correct, NS scope uh, flowchart, so it can be accessed within the flowchart scope, which is what we want, and we need to give it some value, and I will copy a value in. And so this is just my documents folder. And then if we type file path in here, Javelin will read this value uh, when it looks in the directory. You'll also notice that we have uh, by default created some array of strings here named output file list. So this is created with the files and folder action. And this is just where all the file names will be outputted to. And so we ha now we have our array of file names. The next step is to use this create loop button that creates an instance of this for each action. And so the functionality of this for each action is identical to that of the for each method in C sharp. So if we look within its scope, you'll see the familiar C sharp syntax here, where you have some dummy variable file name that's been created by default, and it will be iterating over a an array output file list. Now we need to specify what we're going to be doing within this loop and that's done within this sequence block here and so we need to go file system click file operation and say that we want to append to a file which is what we need to do. And so now we move our attention over to the properties pane and we see that we need to specify a output file path uh, so we do this like before, so we create a variable, out file path, and it's a type string, but its scope now is the sequence scope because it's been created within the sequence scope, uh, and so consequently this variable can only be accessed within the sequence scope, which is fine because it only needs to be accessed by this file activity action. Uh, and so we need to copy in a path for this value. And so that, this is just some file in my documents. This file actually doesn't exist, but that's fine because this append uh, action will create the file because it derives from the C sharp uh, pen method, which creates the file if it doesn't already exist. Uh, and so the final step now is to, oops, I need to put the variable in the field. And so the final step now is to, uh, in this content field, insert what we're actually going to do within this append action. And so what do we want to append? Well, we want to append the file name. So this has got to be consistent with this, uh, sorry, this. And we want to add in some formatting as well. So system.environment.uline and so this here is a vb.net property which allows you to format within a string. And this also illustrates an important point about uh, Javelin 
in that the arguments that you specify in these fields must be in the vb.net syntax, but the functionality or the methods for this javelin flow, the underlying code for the methods, is actually written in C sharp. And so sometimes people could confuse the two. But anyway, moving on, we move back to the flow chart now. And hopefully, if I execute this flow, we should have a file in my documents. Uh, right, so if we look at the log here, we see that everything's executed fine. So execution complete. And we move to my documents file. And we look at this file list. And we see that, as expected, <laughs> we've created a WordPad file, Notepad file, with the required uh, file names.